hello and welcome back to another episode of Starbound. The just released a pretty large patch from my understanding with some pretty cool new um, mechanics. Uh, a lot of it having to do with a new character to get some of the features from what I heard. I have created our character here. There's a random name. Um, till one I found that I kind of liked. Steel Oil sounds very appropriate for a robot. <laughs> So, we're going to start with this guy and see what the new patch has to offer. I hope everybody enjoyed their Christmas. And let's get this game started. Load times. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Matter manipulator, yep. So, we sort of know what we're doing here. We see bolt bulb, yep. Don't think there was anything. I had heard something about scanning your seeds glitch flag oh yeah I heard something about that they added that the flag of the glitch not made of metal let's see let's see if we can scan our seeds I scanned it but I don't see it makeable same thing I had last time all right. Well, let's go down to the planet. Oh yeah, they added that. That's really nice. You make a home planet. It don't cost anything to warp to it. So let's set this home for now. Let's see if any of these new mechanics we can see right off the bat. So I know. Oh yeah. Every planet now has its own gravity. You can kind of see the effect of that. You friendly? Yeah, I'm gonna attack you anyways. I hope the performance works a little better. So far so good. Um, they had this new thing, Diagnose, and one thing it said is recommended me not running it through the Steam Shell to improve performance for those having performance issues. With the recording, I figured I would try that, see if uh, things run a little bit better. Um, I really gotta give them credit for doing such a thing, allowing it to run um, not through the Steam Shell leaves them open for possible well a lot easier for things to be hacked. Oh! Is that acid rain? Uh oh. Wow. What's this up there? Toto. Let's get shoot, I'm dying quick. Wow. Okay, that, that might be a little broken difficult. Oh, sapling, that's right, they said you can grow trees now. Alright, well, let's. My life? <sighs> Barely. Alright, I got wood, so we can craft ourselves a bed and not be dead. <laughs> What's the. Toy makers? For all holiday crafting needs. Oh wow, that's cool. Glitch flag. Toy makers. Wooden crafting table. Okay, wooden crafting tables we want to craft. Craft first. Need 35. So, craft that. And the 
toy makers thing. Also, just wood planks. Let's craft one of those. See what that does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the quest already. Let's put that down. And that down. Let's see what we got in here. Anything? Let's see, that's the same so far. Of course, the hunting bow. Bandage, which I could really use right now. <laughs> uh, that's the same. Wooden cooking table. I think they reduced that by one copper. Uh, not that it was that expensive. This is our wooden bed we're going to want. I think they reduced those. Less cobblestone. Let's see here. Distress beacon. I think that's about the same from the last we saw. Made that. Alright, nothing really new there other than... So let's make us some wood planks. So we can make us a bed so we don't die. I won't make you watch me sleep, but... Let's craft it at least. Let's see what's in this. Need holiday spirit. I wonder how you get that. Let's see, we got fox for a tree, crooked stocking, red stocking. Make a snowflake. Hmm. These all require holiday spirit. I wonder how you get. Holiday spirit. Maybe something that gets dropped. It's a Santa outfit. <laughs> oh. And they cover Jewish too. The menorah. They cover female. Mrs. Claus. Holly. Holiday pole. Candles, gumdrops, candy canes, presents, snowflakes. Oh, statue. Uh, all right. So we'll have to find out more about that. And I'll be back once I'm at full health. Alright, I'm down on the planet again. And yeah, they like this update to a point, but at the same time, this acid rain, especially right here on my home planet, seems to be quite broken. Uh, I'm not able to. I keep getting back to the planet. I was fine at first. Now. It's raining again, and I'm almost dead after moments. Took some cover, but it's just not much. Maybe once I build a house and I spend more time underground, or maybe when I get some armor, it'll protect me better from the elements. But the current time, it's like I gotta protect myself by putting going underground. So. I'm going to gather up some resources, get the basic stuff going, maybe build a house so we're not so exposed, and I'll be back. Alright, been chopping down some trees. This planting trees thing is nice. It seems to be going quick, too, with them regrowing. So I'm actually going to build my first house out of wood, rather than doing the stone thing because it's easier to get. And I found this. I don't know if they're friendly or not. We'll see. Oh, death to heathens. I would say not friendly. Back off. And the gravity seems very light on this planet. Wow, this guy's got a lot of life. Seems to be doing alright, though. Except get a bit hungry. And I killed somebody made of dust. That's funny. 
Oh, got some stim packs. Got a sword, right? It's a blunt basher. 12 DPS, 13 per swing, slow. Yeah, 12. Okay, this blunt basher seems to be better than what we started with. That's good. Let's put these saplings back up there. And the enemies seem to drop this holiday spirit. I guess it literally means spirit of the enemy. So. Empty. Hmm. Is this a special kind of bed? Just an avian bed? Alright. That was literally just around the corner. I'm going to put together a little house and I will get myself a little bit established and I'll see you in a few and we can check out a few things. Um, I'm also going to head back to the ship for a moment to... I, mean, I found pulse jump already for the tech. That'll be very useful when going to ground so I'm going to equip that and I will see you shortly. Okay, we got our makeshift house. Let's uh go hunting before we starve to death because yeah getting there and and I can jump like massively and those saplings grow quick that's something that's probably going to be nerfed I would expect because I mean I planted these saplings and I got more wood here than I think I could ever figure out what to do with Here's some monsters. I need some food. Shoot. I go from not having any monsters to having too many. Shoot. Missed. Been a while since I used the bow. Of course, being nighttime, I get the tough creatures. There's one down. I get leather. I need food, though. Come on. Farting Squidward face. That's what it looks like, right? That guy. Shoot. That hurt. No armor yet. That's a bit of a problem. There we go. One more down. Any food drop? No food. Just pain. Oh, man. Alright. Let's make these bandages. We need it. So I seriously got no food from that. No. Used to not have to worry about like food at all. The amount that dropped. I guess they nerfed that again. I didn't see it in the change log as being nerfed. Where are you? There you are. Oh, back off. Come on, come on, come on. I think the arrows fly a bit differently now. That's... I like it. The velocity's good. Man. Wow, this guy's really avoiding me. Oh shoot, I'm out of it. I'm using all my energy so I can't even launch an arrow. There we go. Leather! 
game wants me to starve to death. Back. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh. These stutter enemies seem to be more threatening, although being nighttime, I'm sure, isn't helping. Come on, drop some meat. Drop some meat and I'll be happy. Thank you. Finally. Some raw alien meat. Squid, anyone? Squid lizards? Come on. There we go. More food. Alright. Oh, here's some more enemies. The bow seems to use more energy. I guess that's very good. It makes it more balanced to the guns. And hopefully they in added uh, tears to the bow, because they kind of stopped allowing you to make the bow for some reason. Either that or replaced Light to stop making guns instead. Ouch. Oh wow, he like ran right through me. Back off. Give me your tasty meat. Thank you. Tasty meat? Tasty meat. Uh oh. No more hunters go. Use my sword. Come on. Get me back to my house. I'm starting to freeze to death. Whew. No more freezing. Okay, good. Now we cook food. And we eat food. And we don't starve to death. <laughs> so far, I... like a lot of the changes that have happened. Um, some things I think need a little bit more balancing and tweaking. Like, the fact that I had acid rain right off the bat for a while made things very difficult. Nowhere to go, other than my ship. But then you just starve to death. I think they need to have something implemented to help prevent that from being an issue. But we'll see what happens. Uh, the game is still in beta, so having a gripe here and there is to be expected. We got ourselves some holiday spirits. So yeah, that's two, four, six. Six spirits, I got eight. Let us... Oh, I'm surprised that only keeps you that long. Oh. Eat my food. Let's be... Whoops. We are Santa Glitch. All right. So, not sure how long this video has been going so far, but I'm gonna dig out a farm, show you guys, and then probably call this episode good for here. And next time you see me, I'll try to have gotten some of the boring stuff out of the way. I will uh, show you if anything interesting happens. Of course, I'm interested to see what this update shall bring. And thank you for watching as always. See you next time. Okay, I got the farm set up. Not much for siege yet, but this is
is my farm. I don't think the gate here at the end is actually going to keep any monsters out. But it looks nice. And seeing that it no longer costs fuel to go back to your home planet, I'm setting this up as home for now. Um, so, so far, I like the updates. Uh, let me know what you think. And I am going to build up some supplies before the next time I see you and hopefully we can start preparing things for uh, probably the boss I would say I would hope it don't take my experience from before it didn't take too long uh, but they may have materials might not be as plentiful as they once was we'll see see you next time and as always, thank you for watching, and Merry Christmas.